In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, teach and urge these things. Whoever teaches something different does not agree with the sound words of our Lord Jesus Christ and the religious teaching is conceited, understanding nothing, and has morbid disposition for arguments and verbal disputes. From these come envy, rivalry, insults, evil suspicions, and mutual friction among people with corrupted minds who are deprived of the truth, supposing religion to be a means of gain. Indeed, religion with contentment is a great gain, for we brought nothing into the world, just as we shall not be able to take anything out of it. If we have food and clothing, we shall be content with that. Those who want to be rich are falling into temptation and into a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires, which plunge them into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is the root of all evils, and some people in their desire for it have strayed from the faith and have pierced themselves with many pains. But you, man of God, avoid all this. Instead, pursue righteousness, devotion, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. Compete well for the faith, lay hold of eternal life, to which you were called when you made the noble confession and the presence of many witnesses. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Why should I fear in evil days when my wicked ensnarers ring me round? They trust in their wealth, the abundance of their riches is their boast. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Yet in no way can a man redeem himself or pay his own ransom to God. Too high is the price to redeem one's life. He would never have enough to remain alive always and not see destruction. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Fear not when a man grows rich, when the wealth of his house becomes great. For when he dies, he shall take none of it. His wealth shall not follow him down. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Though in his lifetime he counted himself blessed, they will praise you for doing well for yourself. He shall join the circle of his forebears, who shall never more see light. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. 
Accompanying him were the twelve, and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Shurza, Susanna, and many others, who provided for them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our first reading today, which comes to us from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy, we hear the following, For we brought nothing into the world, just as we shall not be able to take anything out of it. Indeed, all the gifts that we receive in this life are meant to be used to grow closer to God, to grow closer to his kingdom, and to help others to do the same. Now, all of us are not called to lives of extreme poverty, but we are called to pursue the finer things in life, the truly finer things in life. As St. Paul says, pursue righteousness, devotion, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. Compete well for the faith, lay hold of eternal life. Let us be mindful of the many gifts that God has given us. Let us be mindful of the call to also share those gifts with others, that their lives on this earth may be better and that it may move them and us closer to the new life of heaven. And as a people of faith, we now turn to God with these our prayers. For our bishops and our Holy Father, that they may confirm and support the faith of their people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who seek refuge from any tribulation, that they may see Christ as their Savior and their strength, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who do not know the Lord, that the faith of those assembled in in worship may lead them to Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died and gone before us marked with the sign of faith, in a special way today, we remember Joe Valenzuela, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those confined to their homes, for those who are sick, and those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious Father, we thank you for your gifts. We ask you to hear these prayers and to answer them according to your holy will, for we make them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith and is coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, Qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us go in peace to proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh.